Today, we are going to use pi to figure out the area of a circle. Wow, Elvis, that is so cool. This is the formula. A equals pi r squared. So what do all those letters stand for, Elvis? The A, that is going to be our answer. That is going to be the area of the circle. We don't know that answer yet, so we're not going to put anything there yet. Where it says pi, can we just put 3.14, Elvis? Yes, Fancy. We can put 3.14 in for pi. Well, let's start with the R. The R is the radius of the circle. Do you remember when we learned what the diameter of the circle was? Yes, yes. The diameter is when you measure across the circle, but you have to make sure you go through the center of the circle, and that is the diameter. Exactly, Dexter. Now, the radius is halfway through the circle, so it's from the edge of the circle to the very center of the circle. So what's that little two for? That little two is called an exponent. They are wee little numbers that have great big powers. If a number has the exponent 2 on it, that means that it has to multiply itself two times. But it does not mean times 2. For example, if it is 3 with the exponent 2, it does not mean 3 times 2. It means 3 times itself, which is 3 times 3. Now let's see if we can plug some numbers into our formula and find the area of a circle. Here is our formula. Area equals pi times 5 squared. Now let's plug it into the calculator. 3.14 times 5 times 5 equals 78.5. Is that the answer, Elvis? Is that the answer, 78.5? 78.5 inches, right, Elvis? Right? Almost, Fancy. But there's one more thing. Whenever you are doing area, your units are always squared. You must put a little two on the units. If you don't remember to put that 2 on there, no one will know that it's area, and it will not be correct. So the answer is 78.5 inches squared? You got it, Dexter. That is the correct answer. 